It's not about rewarding who was here first. It's not about rewarding the dog because you had the Frenchie first, or you had the Cocker Spaniel first, or you had the Staffy first. Now, your job is to monitor the Frenchie. Not the Frenchie, sorry. Anyone trying to take anything away from the Frenchie. The Frenchie gets up and walks away from that bone, then the other dog can come in. But again, that's respect, that's good manners. That's how dogs become possessive, because the other one's taking them. Every time the dog's got something, you're taking it away from them, taking it away from them. This Frenchie should be left alone now. That's got the bone, come over to the blanket. Doesn't want to play, wants the bone. Anyone going over to me trying to get the bone is now gonna make the dog feel uneasy. And then eventually what happens is the dog lashes out. there is that little bit of lack of leadership. So, notice how when he first saw a dog, he stand on the brakes, didn't want to walk past it because he wanted to go over and see the dog. Notice when we first walked over to Fred, chest out, wanted to go over. It was always what he wanted. All I'm doing is saying, you're gonna to get to do all these things. First of all, calm down, pay attention to me, and as a reward, I will let you say hello to this dog. See right now, this way, sit. Why did he do that? Can you do it with it filming? Just get him, get him in action. So you just stay there. So look, so we, we, help. Help. Sit. Help. Sit. Boy. Audius is a bit stubborn, so when he doesn't want to move, what he does is he just slams on the brakes. Oh look, he goes there, a little bit of pressure. Sit. Sit. But right, someone's given him clear guidance. They now pass him to sit. Nothing else no, sit. Nothing else matters except sit. I've asked you to sit. Sit means sit. So now I've got several choices. I can let him meet Fred. I notice how he's paying attention to me. All right, I can't move what you want. Sit. There was a correction. Minor correction, slight leash pressure. See how he goes straight back into a sit, pressure's released. So I can let him meet Fred. I could give him a treat for sitting. Or I can sit, or I can give him further instructions. Right now, I just want to give him further instructions. So what I'm going to do, sit. Go. Sit me. Go. You notice when we first approached how he was staring mm -hmm. at Fred. That's when people go, is your dog friendly? And they let the dog just pull straight over. I want him to meet Fred, but I'm going to use it as a reward. Wait for eye contact. When he's got his when he's got the rough wear on, but he'll still pull in between. If I put a proper hand, if I put a cane like the Julius on, that's my husband. Um, <laughs> if I put a Julius on him, that's no. it. It's no. Right, look, see, I've got his attention. There's a dog there. Sit. Now I want you to do just walk past your friend. Sit. 
Remember I've asked him to sit, nothing else matters. Sit. When he took his focus off of Fred, looked at me, I'll reward that. You move off, turn around, walk past Fred. Help. Help. your dogs is because there is that little bit of lack of leadership. So, notice how when he first saw a dog, he slammed on the brakes, didn't want to walk past it because he wanted to go over and see the dog. Notice when we first walked over to Fred, chest out, wanted to go over. It was always what he wanted. All I'm doing is saying you're going to get to do all these things. First of all, calm down, pay attention to me, and as a reward, I will let you say hello to this dog. See right now. This way. Sit. Why did he do that? Because you, I don't know, because you didn't, took his attention, your attention off him, I don't no, know. Because I didn't ask anything of him. When I stopped, I didn't ask him to sit, and I've done this purposely. Right. Right? Just to prove a point, if you don't give a dog something to do, they will come up with their own way. Remember what I said? Yeah. I didn't ask him to sit. Every single time I've stopped, I've asked him to sit, except that one time. And what did he do? That one time I didn't ask him to sit. Went off, did his own thing. Yeah. Sit. If I asked him to sit, that's all he should be doing. Doesn't matter whether it's a cat, a squirrel, your husband, a child, a skateboard, a whatever. Sit. Help. Notice how Fred's not going over to him because I've asked Fred to sit. Help! We walk off. Help! Sit! Down. Come say hello to Fred. Keep, keep the phone there. Just say hello to Fred. Hello, Fred. Down. Again, he's been asked to sit, which means it doesn't matter you're saying hello, you've asked sit, you've asked him to sit. But I can if I want to. Good. Sit. Just let him know that because I've asked you to sit, you've been sitting there a while, here's a reward. Good. Sit. But he's still expected to sit. Does all that make sense? Down. So now I've asked Fred to lay down. So Fred has to stay there. Yep. Distraction. Mm -hmm. Sit. Now just wait for this gentleman to pass. You just want to come and get Fred out of the way? And obviously your husband's just finished work. Hello, I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. But again, he wants to say hello to your husband. But right now, sit. I've asked him to do something. This is the important part. If you ask him to do something, it doesn't matter. Sit. How minute or how small, or how big, anything like that, if you ask him to do something, he has to do it. But we're going to let him say hello to your husband because that's what he wants. So we're going to use this as a reward instead of food. Eye contact. Break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now he can say hello. No. So the reward was saying hello to your husband. But first of all, and this is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So when you're out, if you want to say hello to a dog, first of all, take your attention off of the dog, pay attention to me. You want to, if somebody wants to go, oh, hello, look how cute he is. Can I say hello? Yes, wait a second. Pop him in a sit. Wait for him to look at you. Then the reward is he can say hello to that person. Exactly like what I just done with your husband. Same as Fred. When Fred was over there, I didn't let him say hello to Fred until he just stopped puffing his chest out at Fred. Looked at me. Okay, you acknowledge me. Your reward is you can now say hello to Fred. But the common denominator is I was the one that made this happen. It was on my terms when I said so. And he was calm. Doing it. And look how cool he's been. Yeah, he's walking around. It's amazing. <laughs>